Theresa May has said another referendum would be an undemocratic breach of trust with the British people who clearly voted to leave. But there's a march to try and change her mind planned in London for the 23rd of June. As I mentioned earlier, we're joined now from Brussels by the South West Green MEP Molly Scott Cato. Welcome to the programme, Molly. Um, isn't the reality of this that however you try to argue the case, the Prime Minister is right. This is an attempt to reject the clear result of the referendum two years ago. I think, as you heard from those young people in the piece, that's not the case at all. I mean, what's really exciting to me is that we're seeing young people mobilising to claim their right to vote. There's about a million and a half people who've come up to voting age since the referendum happened in 2016. And all they're saying is that they have a perfect right to decide their future and pr to protect their rights to travel, to work, to fall in love and have relationships with people across the EU, just in the way we've enjoyed in our lives. And I don't think older people should be able to deprive them of that. But isn't part of the problem here that we've We've had a lot of people coming out and making very passionate arguments in favour of remaining in the EU, which frankly they didn't make very well during the referendum campaign. But that's rather tough luck, isn't it? Why didn't people like you make a better case during the campaign? Because a lot of Remainers have admitted they didn't. Well, I spent a lot of time talking to people during the referendum, including in Cornwall, and people were voting for all sorts of different reasons. You know, a lot of people saying we want to give the, the Tory government a kicking, a lot of people rejecting David Cameron, a lot of people saying there was too much debt, all sorts of reasons people were saying they voted for Brexit. And at that time, people weren't very clear about what exactly the Brexit deal meant. So all we're saying and what the young people were saying in your piece there is that now that we have more clarity, now that we've seen it's a lot more complicated than people thought, now that most of the promises that were made during the 2016 referendum have been broken. It's absolutely fair to say on the final deal we need a say and actually that's giving us more democracy and, and young people welcoming democracy is something we should support I think. Finally Molly what, what do you make of this, this ambition on both sides of the house apparently to kind of get some kind of equivalent deal without any of the nasty bits? Well, it's absolutely clear that this kind of have your cake and eat it approach has been repeatedly rejected at the Brussels side. I mean, there's absolutely no leeway on that. We could take the option of staying in the EEA, but then, of course, we'd lose sovereignty. So that, that wouldn't be acceptable to me. If we leave the EEA, it's going to be very negative in terms of jobs, particularly farming jobs, if we're thinking about Cornwall. And that's why I'm very clear that now that we see that the sort of bespoke deal that the Tories told us was possible is not possible. It's absolutely right to say we need a people's vote and I will be campaigning very strongly for us to remain in the EU to protect jobs, to protect young people and to protect all our opportunities in the future.